Hey everybody, it's Tom from MC Things here again, and today we're actually going to go through the technical information on the MC Demo 205, which is a brand new device that uh, we've released here at MC Things. Um, pretty cool device, it's got Sigfox communication, it's got a whole bunch of different features and functions, allow you to get prototyping in the IoT space very, very quickly. Uh, we did release a, a very short, high-level video on this um, on our YouTube channel, so you can check that out. And if you do have further technical or specific questions, you can ask us on the forum, or also check out the documentation that's available online. The other thing to mention is that these are available for pre-order, and we expect to be delivering um, sometime in September or end of September 2016. So let's have a look at this device. So as we can quickly see in the case, it is an IP65 rated case that's waterproof, dust resistant, all that type of stuff. So the bigger thing I want to get to is the features and functions that are actually on the device itself. So it does have a built-in GNSS uh, receiver. This is the antenna for it. This allows you to pick up satellites from USA, Russia, Japan, China, all that type of stuff and relay that through Sigfox. It also has a programmable debugging interface. So this allows a direct serial connection to your computer that's running MC Studio. So you don't have to program and debug wirelessly. You can actually connect directly to the device and program it through serial port. It also does have different battery selection or power selection here. So you can run it on battery power. You can also run it directly off USB depending on your use case. It also has a couple user programmable buttons um, that you can program to kind of whatever type of function you want to do. Uh, finally, it also has a breakout pins, and this allows you to connect other devices quite easily without having to solder, and then you can start to debug and work through with your different use cases using that right there. Um, of course, it also has a Sigfox antenna and an LPLAN MC Air antenna as well. So you can use this device wirelessly like you would with an MC Mod 120, but you can also send the information out through Sigfox. So these are some of the features that make this device very, very versatile. Um, next thing we'll go through is some of the sensors and stuff that are on board and talk a little bit about some use cases that you might want to use with this device. All right, so now that we've gone over the board layout and the design of the actual device, I want to talk a little bit about the functionality and versatility because it is a one-of-a-kind device that's available in the IoT marketplace today. So as I mentioned earlier, it does have a GNSS receiver that you can use to get the GPS location of this device and relay that information back to Sigfox. So out of the box, it actually can be used as an asset tracker. Um, one thing I will also mention, just because it is powered by four AAA batteries, um, it is quite efficient. If you take two GPS readings a day and relay this back through Sigfox, this device will last about one and a half years on four AAA batteries. It's also really nice and easy to install as an asset tracker, so that's a really great point there. It also has a built-in NIST traceable high accuracy temperature sensor, and that's a type of temperature sensor used in cold chain management, but maybe you just want to use it to relay temperatures for whatever your use case or project might be. Finally, it also has a built-in low-power accelerometer. And so again, possibly using that accelerometer alongside location services, perfect for asset tracking, and of course there's so many other use cases that you can do with that. Last thing I also want to mention, we did talk about this breakout pins before. This allows you to connect any other device that you want out there. So using I2C, UART, or SPI, um, you can connect other devices, no need to solder, and start to create those proof of concept and prototype devices on Sigfox. You can get to an end solution very, very quickly using this device, and then deploy it into a Sigfox uh, covered area, and you're good to go. So hopefully that gives you guys a good idea of how this device can be used. You can learn a lot more about this on our website. We do have a whole technical spread, uh, spec sheet that's available that gives you all the details of the sensors and how the design is laid out. Um, we also have a product brief available online. They are available on our, prep, on our website for pre-order. And of course, you can also come and check us out at the uh, forum and ask us any questions about it. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. We want to hear from you. If you have any questions about this device, info at mcthings.com. Check us out on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram. And we'll talk to you soon.